What do you guys think of Gennady Golovkin? Animals. Scary. Yeah. I would, Scary. I would, I would sell my son into slavery to see him versus uh, Julio Cesar Chavez. Why? <laughs> that would be a war. That would be a war. That's I feel bad for your son. But see, people sleep on Chavez. They don't, he can punch, man. Yeah. And he's strong and, and big. And, 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 he has, and he has the best chin in the game. Chavez no question that. Chavez Jr., best chin in the game. But he just has to not smoke before and he'll be okay. Hey, man. he's that. I would, oh, my gosh. That probably would be a class. That probably would be a war. Who wins that one? Gennady Golovkin or Chavez Jr.? I'm going to take Gen Golovkin, but, but I think it would be a war, though. I don't know, because Chavez can box as well. Nah, but, but, but trust me, Gennady, Gennady Golovkin is an amateur star. Like, he, he's like a big, you know, big, big amateur in, in the amateur yeah. 355 fights, never been stopped, never been dropped. That's what I'm saying. He, I heard he beat, he, beat, he beat my boy Darrell. That's like, my big brother, he beat him. You know, and Darrell's not nothing to play with. Hell no. He ain't no joke. Okay, so my, my final question here. Give me your top five pound for pound fighters in the world today. Who's number five? What? They oh, breathing? oh, five? Are they breathing? Yeah, they're active. Oh, active. Five. Um, Floyd. Floyd's number one off okay. top. Andre Ward is number two. Um, number three, we'll go with. What we gonna lose? We'll go with. What? the Klitschko? The Marquez? Yeah, yeah, you gotta go. The Klitschko's got, got it. What the Klitschko's got? The Klitschko's in there because they they holding everybody. They holding. They holding. Y'all, they didn't hold it for so long. Well, Vladimir, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta put them in there. Vladimir, maybe you know. Rigging the hours. Rigging the hours. Rigging the hours. A monster. You know, he's a, that's a big win. Five. It's, it's yeah. competitive out there. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Marquez is, Marquez is, is still in the middle. Okay, out of you four over here, who's the first one that will be a world champion? Well, if you go by, if you go by records. They already, they already yeah, got yeah, ahead of me. If you go by records, yeah, they, 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 well, I'm the busiest, right. but don't mean anything in the sport. Because, he, like I said, this is a, a, a I, Wait, wait, hold on, he can't ask, hey, listen, he can't ask that up. question. We all going to be real Realistically, real. No, that's why I said who's going to be first. Realistically, yeah. ask, ask that question again. Realistically. Out of you four fighters over here. I think it's going to be me because Who? I'm a heavyweight. And it ain't going to take me too long to get listen, the fight. That's, that's one way to look at that. Are you supposed to all point at each other? All right, go ahead. Ask this question again. Realistically. Okay. Michael Hunter. You got Zach Cooper, Linnell Fellows. You got, of course... Kevin Newman, the, Kevin Newman the, the second, deuce. the deuce. Yeah, right? yeah, he, but he's an amateur. You guys are pro, but he will turn pro very soon. Yeah. Out of all four of you, who becomes a world champion first? You gave it to me. I gave it to Mike. I'm going with uh, everybody. Everybody. We might, might fight in the same court and all get built. Right. Well, you, 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 all we, all, we all will be world champions. Though. You're we definitely in the right gym and you're working hard. We, all, we all work hard. Is it hotter outside or inside? Inside. Uh, inside. 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 At least about 30 degrees. You see degrees. standing here? I'm sweating. I ain't even doing it. I said. 120 outside. Yeah. So there you have it. Any message to people who want to follow you? Uh, Kevin Newman? At Kevin Newman underscore II on Instagram and Twitter. At Linnell Bellows on Twitter and on Facebook. And then uh, at KO Bellows on Instagram. I'm at your boy, GMT. Bellows, who's the toughest guy you ever sparred? I mean, I just sport a lot. You know, I don't know. I can't really... terms of tough, though. Yeah. Well, like, who's, like, who was, like, the most challenging? That when you walked out of the ring? Floyd? I mean, I, I boxed Floyd. You know, that's, you know, I boxed Darrell. I mean, I didn't box Dawson. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who I was the toughest out of them? No, I was uh, a little smaller, though. Everybody brought something different. different. Everybody what? got different okay. attributes. What's it like to start Floyd's Money Mayweather, the pound for pound king? First of all, I mean, it's definitely a learning experience. But then, too, you see how, how much more advanced he is right. as a boxer than you are, you know, but it's definitely a great experience, it's definitely a great experience, learn the experience. Did you, learn from did you learn anything from that experience? Oh, definitely. Like what? Keep on working. Keep on working no matter what he's doing, you gotta do you. He always tell you, you can't fight like me, I can't fight like you, you gotta do you. So when I was in there, all I could do was be me. And so I learned that in the boxing game that if I'm gonna make my mark in history, I gotta do me. Kevin, what's it like for you to watch Floyd Spark? Oh, I actually sparred with him. I mean, really? but, to, but to watch him, it's well, amazing, man. Tell me about sparring Floyd. Man, that dude. Did he go easy on you or was he talking? He, he didn't he didn't go, he didn't he wasn't in training camp mode, so I'm not gonna sit up here and say that he went all out, but all he did was just constantly put pressure. You know he he, he worked, you know, he knew I was an amateur, you know, so he, he worked with me. But you know, I think if I got the opportunity again, I think it would be, you know, a little different because I think he would turn up his level and I would turn up my level, you know. But it was definitely, you know, it was definitely 
Man, it's not like any experience in the world. It sounds like a dream come true for a young fighter like yourself. Listen, you're not even pro yet. And right. you're never, what did you learn? What did you take from that experience? Man, just his timing and his, his ability. If he does not want to get hit, the guy will not be hit. And it's his timing and his ring, his ring smarts. You know, he's, he's special. He's special. Is he the best ever? Yeah, best ever, man. All, all around skill set. But when it comes to his ability to think in the ring, to adjust, that his speed, his power is underrated. You know, it's really that means he's the best, man. All what does it say about a fighter that in 17 years? It is will to win. That's ne what separates. Us. Never been stopped. Never been dropped. Dominated everyone. And people complain, but he proves people wrong day in and day out. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying, man. I mean, the, the guy, like I said, he's special. You know, he's the, he's the greatest of all time. Man. You know, I mean, he's never been, the guy's never been hit the canvas. And I don't want to jinx my man, you know, but he's never hit the canvas. From a punch, he's been close, he's been hurt, he's never hit the canvas. That's crazy. So there you have it right here at the Mayweather Boxing Club. Another day at the office for these young fighters. Stay tuned. I'm Elise Setback reporting, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Setback.